Danny Dare's boyfriend cried at court as he was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for conning £34,000 from two pensioners. Sammy Kimmins was sentenced today at Portsmouth Crown Court after he pleaded guilty to five counts of fraud that resulted in two elderly men losing £34,000. The prosecutor, Michael Mason, noted that between 2016 and 2018, Kimmins targeted victims because they were old, vulnerable and somewhat isolated. He added, this wasn't something he migrated to, this was something he planned. The elderly men impacted by the scam were told that Kimmins would invest their money through this company, S&S Trading Limited. However, Peter Haynes and the late Peter Martin never saw the thousands of pounds they gave Kimmins again. Peter Martin gave nearly £26,000 to Kimmins while Haynes handed over a total of £7,927. Speaking of the impact of the scam, Haynes, an RAF veteran, told the court, I believe that I lost £8,820 to Mr. Kimmins. He was left sick with worry. I have worked all of my adult life and what was taken by Mr. Kimmins was everything I had saved. It's no exaggeration to say that I was left living on the breadline as a result of his actions and dishonesty. As a result of losing this money to Kimmins, Haynes was unable to see his daughter in Australia when her husband died in a car crash. Metro reported that Judge Timothy Mousley, QC, who presided over the case, said that Kimmins didn't show any remorse immediately and I do not consider any remorse to be profound. Kimmins' defense, Craig Harris, spoke about the motivation for his client's actions, stating, He was living above his means. He found himself surrounded by what he perceived to be the glitz and glamour of the city and financial services workers, and they would take him out to Club 195, nightclubs, and well-regarded bar establishments. And when the time came for him to show willingness to engage in this type of frivolity, he did. Harris also stated that Kimmins had saved £10,000 to repay his victims and was leaving the financial sector after he lost his job as a city trader because of the case. Kimmins now intends to train to become a quantity surveyor after he has served his 42-month sentence.